What is up, everybody? Right now, I got the C8 E Ray right behind me, and you might be wondering where am I at right now? Well, I'm at Demonology's big show event. It's a YouTuber call out, something like that, and it's a drag racing event at the drag strip, but not the eighth mile, it's at a quarter mile. So today will be the first time running the C8 E Ray on the quarter mile. We're gonna see what this thing can do. I got drag radials on it right now. At first, I was thinking of just running the street tire, but I'm like, man, I don't get too many opportunities to come to the quarter mile, so you might as well maximize it, get the quickest time possible. There's other people out there who do street tire stuff. Cool, I'm all about getting the quickest time we can and without you know doing heavy mods. So throwing drag radials on it. I literally threw drag radial, my wheels and tires onto the plane. I took it on the plane from California to Texas because the car's in Texas right now and I flew with it all the way here just to make it. So two big 70 something pound boxes with me as my luggage as I checked it in. It was all good. And then I flew here, took them off the plane, threw them in the car, and then boom, we rolled out here. So anyways, we're here. Big uh, big thanks to uh, Darren from uh, Brink of Speed and also Mike from Brink of Speed for coming out and helping you know, uh, get get my car set up and stuff here. We're, we're locked and loaded, we're ready to go. Now it's time for me to go find this little parking area here. They got this little VIP parking for the YouTubers or whatever. I don't consider myself a YouTuber, I just make content and throw it on YouTube, but I'm not a YouTuber. So anyways, I'm gonna go over there, hang out, get the car, you know, let the car cool down and stuff. And then once racing starts, it's time to let this thing rip and see what kind of times this car does on the quarter mile. this thing can do in a quarter mile how quick it can do we're here at Texas Motorplex it's about to be good it's about to be fun all right everybody so drag racing is about to start dig racing um, I'm super pumped the first car I'm gonna go against is a red GTR it's an FBO GTR um, this thing is making somewhere probably in the 650 to 700 horsepower range um, obviously all-wheel drive, my car is all-wheel drive, CAE e Ray. I'm gonna run my car, see what this my car runs in the quarter mile. This is my first time running the car in a quarter mile. I got the drag radials on, Mickey Thompson's 20-inch wheels, and we'll see how it grips and goes. So first time running the quarter mile with the e Ray. We'll see what this thing does. <laughs> it is very warm out today. It's like 80 something degrees out. So it's not going to be some crazy, crazy DA type number. It's not gonna be that today. We're gonna go run quick, but you know, it's not gonna be the quickest this thing could ever do, right? I think you go get into better weather, you get like negative DA, then you're gonna go run, run real, really, real quick. But today, I don't even know what the DA is, but it's definitely not perfect. So we're just gonna have fun. Go run the car and see what it does and to see what this E-Ray can do in normal temperatures. 87 degrees, I feel like is normal. Everywhere in the world has an 80 degree day. So um, yeah, <laughs> let's make this thing work.
All righty, time to do some drag racing. Jason, so y'all doing pro tree? Pro tree? Okay, do you, do you want your time shown or no time? No time for me. Okay, no time. Do you put NT yeah, we, on that? Yeah, we put NT. Right, yeah, I, I did NT. Make sure to tell him no time. No time, okay. okay now look, now look, when you get up there, free stage, stage, the next flash you see, you smash the boat. So why would I see yellow go? Yes. Okay. So free stage, stage, don't even worry about him. Yep. The next. Gotcha, okay. Will do. Hey, so it's a it's it's a pro tree. I'm not used to pro tree, so <laughs> we'll find out how this goes. All right, so my launch control is set at 4,000 RPM, five percent slip. So then we'll see how this goes. We'll see how this goes going against the red GTR FBO GTR if you don't know what FBO means FBO basically means the car um, is uh, the car is all uh, um, uh, full bolt-on sorry I'm trying to pay attention oh, let's go back up a little bit. there pretty good <laughs> I don't know what the mile per hour there was but it got out of there pretty good it seemed like it hooked pretty good there you go thank you so much 1063 for my first run so 1063 okay 157 60 foot that's not bad 678 for my eighth mile it's not bad and this is on a very warm day, so hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. That was a good run. It was a good run. We lost like at the same time. That was my. What you? What was your reaction time? Uh, point five nine. Mine was point oh four. Oh, so you got a better reaction mine, time? Mine was point six. I'm sorry. Okay, guys. So we're about the same. Yeah. 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 And sixty foot was one six. One five seven for me. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So it was. It was pretty. It was real close. That thing it gets out <laughs> all righty so first pass i end up doing a 1063 so now i gotta figure out what can i do to go a little bit quicker <laughs> let the thing cool down a lot i know that for sure it definitely doesn't have the same kind of mile per hour as a z06 um but it's still interesting though so I'll, I'll take it definitely for sure if you come back on a really cold day you are going to run very very fast <laughs> but it, it's hot i mean i'm like sweating in here it's 80 something degrees i don't have the ac on or anything i'm, I'm sweating so um <laughs> yeah i gotta let the thing cool down a bunch for me to really get a good run but um i don't know how much time we have before the next class starts so i'm gonna try to see if i can get one more pass in let it cool down while i'm doing the rounds and jump back in again so first pass of the day, got to run against the Red GTR. Really, really good race, super fun race, super cool guy. Um, I uh, ended up going 10.63. So uh, my first uh, first pass in the quarter mile with the car ran well, so I'll take it. Uh, got to figure out a way to run a little bit faster. So I'm gonna get that sorted with this car. I don't know exactly what to do. So even though I just said I would get it sorted, what do I do to get it sorted? I don't know. But my next race is gonna be against this SV. It's not SVJ, I think it's an SV. I keep on saying different names but I'm learning the Lamborghinis. This is the Aventador SV. So yeah, 
Gonna be running against this. This next run should be super fun. Get to get, get to run against a super crazy supercar. Absolute supercar. Oh, What's MSRP on a SV? Uh, MSRP on a SV can range from like about 530 to 600. Holy crap. And if you get a roadster, then obviously it goes up. Maybe it goes even more, damn, that's crazy. Yeah. Now, do people pay more than MSRP on these, or are you uh, tip their people typically? Well, I think it's right around MSRP, just depending on the spec and miles. And yeah. Stuff. But like that CJ roadster, mm -hmm. uh, same, similar uh, sticker, but they're going for like still a hundred dollars sticker. Wow, holy crap, that's yeah. nuts. But you know, it's, a lot, it's one of the last V12s that Lambo will make. Oh no, beautiful sound of V12 too. In perspective. <laughs> All of them are moving. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ready to go. Running against the SV. Lamborghini SV. we took off even <laughs> I might I might have treated him though I might have treated him oh man what a race what a race <laughs> beautiful sounding car holy crap <laughs> ran against the Lamborghini SV I'm glad we took I think we took off about the same I mean obviously we're looking at the lights so it's all about driver from there driver has to look at the lights and get himself staged and boosted up whatever he needs to do get the rpms right launch control right and go which is tricky especially when you're doing pro tree you don't have a lot of time um but it's uh you know we, we know the rules so i'm curious to see what i ran i don't know what he ran but let's curious to see what i ran there you go yeah thank you you're welcome uh 10.65 <laughs> 1065 with a 158 60 foot so it seems like my car is almost like stuck right out there unless we cool it down a whole bunch <clears throat> wait till the da gets a little bit better tonight and then run it again but i'll you know i'll take the 1065 right now it's all good <laughs> so 1065 for this run right here so so far so far the e-ray is a 106 car um in this weather in 80 something it says 82 degrees you can clearly see it right there it's 82 degrees outside it's warm it's humid you know i'm sweating i mean literally just one run and i'm like already sweating inside my helmet so you know it's 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 a warm day but with an na motor you don't have any supercharger or or turbos to boost up and just you know surpass the da issue you know you got to kind of run what you got so we're making the most of it but man it's really really fun i'm gonna park the car for right now let it sit and rest but man that is uh that was awesome <laughs> that was really really awesome what a day so far i got a beautiful win against the lamborghini sv that was really really cool to get an opportunity to race against that vehicle and do well so it sounds so good when you're running against it that thing is a monster i'm super happy i was still able to get the win it's all wheel drive it's tuned it's making more power than stock. It has an exhaust on it. It sounds like an F1 car. That thing's amazing. That was very, very cool. I want to get some more runs in. Just going to wait for it to cool down a little bit. Wait for my motor to cool down more. And then I'm going to send it.
go straight right here. Like, no, 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 no. I need to go straight right here. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Alrighty. We're ready to go. Gonna run against a Demon 170. A Demon 170. That's what I'm about to run against right now. So that thing has a thousand horsepower and I don't. <laughs> so we all know what's probably gonna happen. But I just wanna go run and just have some fun. So let's go do this. Let's go do this. <laughs> oh my gosh my car took off though <laughs> my car took off my car took off which is good <laughs> but uh <laughs> you know obviously he has a lot more power <laughs> thank you so much yeah 1068 yeah the car is just stuck in the 10.6s you know that's it i mean that's as good as old girl's gonna run today. 10 sixes. I don't like I would have to make some type of change, pull some weight out, do whatever. I don't know. I don't know what that's I don't know what else is really holding me back. You know, obviously I could pull the the rear gurney flap and pull the arrow off and all that stuff. You know, maybe that, but 10 sixes is what it is. I think 1065 or 10 10 six something was my fastest of the day. So it's all good. I'll 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 take it. Ten, this car is a 10-6 car, from what I found out in this DA today. Now, you come back. We come back, and it's 45 degrees, 50 degrees, and like negative 500 or negative like 1,000 DA, some crazy like that. Some of the stuff that they get on the East Coast. If we did that with this car, I'd be running a lot quicker. But right now, the DA today is very high. And I can tell you exactly what it is from my draggy. 2,100 feet. That's the DA we're dealing with today. 2,100 feet. Not negative 2,100. Positive 2,100. That is a lot. <laughs> That's a lot. That's probably the highest DA I've drag raced in in a while. Because typically, besides like, you know, the hot summer August events that I do in California, that's a lot. I mean, that's a lot, you know. I even say a thousand's a lot, you know. I'm like, oh, a thousand sucks. 2100, eh, not great, but you know what? It's all good. Fun day. And it was such a great day here with the E Ray. And this thing was very, very impressive running a quarter mile all day today. Went and ran some passes. 10-6 um, pretty much the entire time you got to see it all um, the car ran solid I'm very proud of it um, obviously it can be better but you're, for those who don't understand drag racing before you start talking and talking a bunch of crap and being like oh it didn't run 10-5 like GM says you know what conditions 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 are definitely crucial for drag racing in order to run optimal time you got to have optimal track prep and optimal weather when i say optimal weather the da density altitude has to be really good that's the only way to run an amazing time 
but this E-Ray ran good and solid for a terrible DA. When you are 2100 density altitude, that's terrible. And this thing still went 10-6. So once we get to like, you know, winter time and it gets cooler outside and all of a sudden, you know, it's like, you know, zero DA or negative 500 or negative 1000 or something like that, that's good DA. At that point, this car will run a lot better because that naturally aspirated motor in the back that is not boosted will be able to run quicker. So before anybody says anything crazy like, oh, it didn't run 10.5, shut up and understand how drag racing works. So anyways, that's your lesson right there for today on how naturally aspirated motors respond to weather. And it's a big difference that happens, right? You literally can gain like tenths, like two, three tenths just because of DA on a track. Like you can gain so much. So anyways, I'm gonna come back out on the better DA. I'm gonna drag race and have fun with this thing on the days that I can. Some days will be good DA, some days won't. But for today, I think it ran great for what it was. Ran against some cool cars and uh, yeah. Ended up having some wins, had a loss too, but it's all good. Fun day, good time, and thank you so much all for tuning in. This car is solid, the E-Ray is a beast.